And today, a new report out of UT Austin digs into the causes of the winter storm blackouts. Charlotte Huffman joins us live with that information tonight. Charlotte, what did the reports find? Well, Izzy, UT researchers were given access to confidential PUC and ERCOT data. The result is this 100 page report, which sheds new light on why so many neighborhoods went dark in February. While the researchers concluded that there was no single issue to blame, they did highlight two failures that were not previously publicly known. First, they found some generation units tripped offline at temperatures that they were designed to withstand. And second, they found 67 fuel gas sites, including at least five identified as critical to providing natural gas to electrical power plants, were enrolled in ERCOT's emergency response service program. Now, what that means is this. The owners of these 67 sites, which were mostly natural gas facilities, were paid to have their power cut off. By voluntarily enrolling in ERCOT's emergency services, these companies got money from ERCOT and in exchange, they gave the grid permission to cut off their power in an emergency. Now, I asked the UT researchers why critical natural gas facilities are allowed to enroll in this program to begin with. They said it's certainly a topic that should be reviewed by policymakers. And like you, we wanted to know which facilities were compensated, but the researchers weren't privy to that information or how much the facilities were compensated. We do know, though, that ERCOT's program sets a $50 million per year cap on compensation. Now, we did re reach out to ERCOT, which we should note has been under pressure from the PUC to be more transparent to see if they'll tell us which facilities were compensated to cut off their power in the middle of a crisis. And if so, how much were they paid? We are still awaiting their response. In Dallas, I'm Charlotte Huffman. All right.